for shot there and propel you guys the rest of the game? Yeah, I was just trying to, to match his punches, you know. He came out, and sometimes you can get discouraged when you see that level of greatness, you know what I mean? But as long as you just keep fighting and keep throwing punches, you know, in the end, you know, we stood on top, so it was good. Was there anything the coaches did to kind of help in that way, like what they said as that first quarter was going on, or anything Brad did in particular, you know, that just kind of got you through weathering that storm as he described it? Brad said stay the course, you know. Brad told us to keep, keep being aggressive, but, you know, some of that stuff you can't measure being out there, like, like seeing that LeBron playing at his ultimate form, you know what I mean? The, the amount of threes he was hitting and what he was doing is hard to coach for that, you know? But we stepped up, we had some players really step up and as we got activated, we did really good. How do you, Overall, how do you describe playing for Brad? It's amazing. I mean, he's a great coach. He brings his, his, um, his preparation level is very high. Each and every game, you can see his focus level. You know, he knows the game. His, his staff knows the game and like, um, when it comes to ATOs and John plays up, we feel like he puts a lot, everybody in the right position to score and to be, to, to be successful. So um, you got a bunch of young guys who don't have egos and we just want to win and play hard and have fun. Like you can do whatever you want. Has it been a point of emphasis for you to start game strong, 18 in the first half, first game, 16 the other half? Point of yeah. emphasis from for you on the to get a strong offensively. Saying from me or yeah, from the coach side, uh, or either or. Uh, I think I'm, I'm just playing ball. I don't think it's been a point of emphasis for me to come out hot. I just think uh, just my aggression, you know, just trying to hit first rather than getting hit first. I think the coach staff definitely has relayed that message. We can't be the uh, we can't we can't come out and get punched in the mouth. So I definitely want to be one of the one of the players and spark our team to come out and just take the fight to them. At the other end of the court, you seem to be applying more more pressure like deep into the perimeter, like three feet beyond the three point line than you did all season. What's driving that? Uh, confidence, I think. You know, the more experience you go through um, and the more time you spend on the floor and the more situations you see, the more confident I've gotten. And I'm a pretty confident guy, but I feel like during this postseason, my confidence has just reached a new ceiling. And it's, it's just going up and going up as we speak. So it's not, I don't really feel like there's nothing I can do on the floor. It's just a matter of doing it. Is it good to have this much of a layoff before game three? I mean, it could be, or it might not be. You know, <laughs> yeah, we'll see game three. Jalen, how much of a challenge is it when the Celtics have such a balanced scoring attack? How much of a challenge is it for teams to defend you guys? Uh, it's tough, you know. We play team ball. We got a lot of guys who could really fill it up. And when we all are clicking on all cylinders, I think it's really, really hard for us to be beat. I know you said you, uh, I know you, you, you talked about LeBron's greatness. I know you respect his greatness, but what about you? It doesn't seem like you ever get discouraged. Like you would never be a person who would get discouraged by that type of matchup personally. And why should I? You know, this, the stage is set for you know all of us to do something spectacular. You know, LeBron has been to the finals eight straight times. He's a great player, but you know we want to win and we want to be the team that to, to be the team that does win. You know, so it gets to the finals. So you know we got a bunch of young guys trying to make names for themselves in this league. You know, why not come out and play hard? You know, everybody's saying we're playing with house money anyway. So why not come out? You know, with the energy level that we need and uh, try to do something special. How do you keep your wits about you when so much is going on in the game? Late in the game, like throwing punches, yelling at each other, 20,000 people cheering. How do you keep your wits about you and not get stressed out? Just breathe, man. Just take a deep breath. Relax, you know. Separate what's real and what's not. Come out and do what you got to do. And let the chips fall where they may.